Good morning. On the way to Chef's place because uh, and probably the last place because we're gonna help him move today. Uh, Steve, Gijs, and well, obviously Chef. Uh, we're gonna put all his stuff in the truck, then head over to Arnhem and uh, help him set up his place there. Barely one hour later, Chef's house is uh, as good as empty. It's all in the truck. Hi. It's weird to think that you got your whole house in there. You have something to say? The <laughs> never. <laughs> so, okay. Last checkup. We just arrived at Chef's place uh, with all the all the stuff. Just walking down the stairs here, and uh, it's quite a way down, which means it's also quite the way up. Look. Hey! Hey! Hi. Hi. Yeah, I am. Guys, also joined the team. And. There we are. Having to do that a couple times will be a nice workout for today. We decided that we should do the washing machine first because now we're still fresh and young. Oh yeah. And uh, else we'll be old man. Yeah. Else we'll be. Thank you. Thank you. Worn out. And <laughs> no, it makes sense. Yes. No. We're just doing stuff like nothing. <laughs> like very nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's me. Okay. And you got a Oh, there we go! Okay, you know, I'm gonna help a little bit. Right, we're getting places. That's the couch. That's like the office corner. Fridge and stuff, and more stuff, and more stuff, more stuff. Oh. More stuff, yeah. And the fridge, uh, that's not a fridge by the way, I mean uh, laundromat, yes. With uh, all the hydrating capabilities, much, uh, yes, all the warm. Hey! Hola. Moi, uh, also a lot of stuff. And hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, look at all the teamwork here. <laughs> the truck is empty. Everything is here and up there. So yeah, now it's time for Chef to do all the unpacking and the building. Don't go. Boxes say words. Boxes say words. For example, like... <laughs> yes. There is stuff in boxes. Go ahead. Mick is not so good at saying words. Very moving. Yeah. You are trying to assemble the couch. You haven't heard all so far. Guys, ga je nou op het ding leunen wat ik op moet tillen? Alright, let's answer some questions. 
Questione. Questione. By the... Pizza Calzone. Oh. Wow. By the way, the, the primary things are done in the house. We are sitting on the couch. I'm not it's a uh, mini chair. That's a uh, piat. Piat. <laughs> the bed is in there and it's already done. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is the crib. That's where the magic That's is where supposed the magic to be. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we have the, the desk. It's right there. That's where this vlog is going to be edited. Yes. And the TV and oh, yeah. TV and stuff. Yeah. Right. So uh, it's, uh, it's all taking together sh- slowly. A few of you sent us some questions on Instagram, and the first uh, question is: uh, Do you guys have any future plans uh, for Triple Trouble? Yes, we have all of them. We have all the plans. In the future, we want to make uh, more videos. We don't really have any specific plans. We just want to continue to have fun like we do now, and uh, hopefully that will. Uh, result in us having more subscribers and having a more successful channel um, but for now we're happy with uh, how everything goes yes. yes and um how did you guys came on the idea to start start uh, triple trouble um that's actually a quite funny story i don't remember <laughs> no? basically i had a youtube channel and mick was planning to make a youtube channel for himself and then I was like, why don't we make a YouTube channel together? Because I didn't have a lot of time to do it myself anymore. And then we were like, but we both suck at editing. So we need. <laughs> so we needed a third person. And we already came up with the name of Triple Trouble. And it would be a bit stupid to have two people in a channel Triple. that's called Triple that's Trouble. That's the only reason I'm here. And uh, Kais is amazing <laughs> at making edits. And... Um, Yes. I heard someone say that he l- was looking for something to edit, uh, but he didn't have any footage. Uh, and any footage. Yeah. So uh, one and one is three. Next question: uh, Do you have any sponsors for Triple Trouble? No, not for Triple Trouble. No. Not for Triple Trouble. No. Uh, we have some uh, individual sponsors. Uh, for instance, I get sponsored by Hoyt Easton uh, Trouble XL, um, but. We don't have any sponsors for Triple Trouble specifically, so... So if you want to donate some money... <laughs> <laughs> or, or just uh, some products to review, yeah, we, can, uh, yeah. we can also use some uh, some products that we can review and uh, make an honest, uh, honest video about it. Yeah. So if you see this and you would like to have your uh, product uh, put out there in the world, we can uh, make something happen. Yes. Contact us. Yes. Yes. Um, another question. Is there... A chance to buy slash get any of Chef's Uh I think when you pay a couple of million, you will get a rise. You have a chance of <laughs> getting one of my risers. But I don't like to sell my old risers because uh, point one, it's in my contract that I shouldn't uh, just uh, sell them off like uh, cookies. Uh, and also, uh, I'm emotionally attached to weak. some of them and uh, okay I'm, <laughs> I'm also weak but that's a different story that doesn't have anything to do with the risers so um, y- yes everything is for sale for the right price but uh, I doubt that people want to pay that price for a riser and last question for now uh, what are your favorite competitions international competition I think yes I like uh, yeah I like world cups but uh, we have this new format in the Netherlands called the lowlands shootout yeah. and I definitely like that as well because it's a format in which you, uh, the top 16, and I think next year maybe the top 32 goes to the finals, yeah. um, and then you keep shooting until everybody has their own uh, position. So, so instead of being knocked out, yeah. you can just continue. So shooting. if you, if you lose the first round, you don't you don't automatically end up as ninth, but that means you you have to shoot for the ninth or the tenth or the eleventh. Like you you continue shooting yeah. finals until the competition is completely over. And uh, I think that's a good way to practice finals as an intermediate archer, but it's also fun for us uh, because it gives more challenge. And I also really enjoy shooting uh, competitions at my local club. That's something oh, I really yeah. like to do. I don't like to shoot competitions at Kais' local club. <laughs> You've never been there. Any other questions? No. How many crazy. sheep do you have, guys? Three. How much does a lamb typically cost? Depends on the like on the race. Something like thirty, in between thirty and sixty euros. That's well, not much. That's not too bad, yeah. And a sheep, seventy to ninety euros, something like that. I'm not sure. That's also not too bad. So I hope Kristen doesn't watch this vlog. 
buy some lamps. Pit. Yeah, Pit, do you have any questions? Not really, no. This is uh, Pete. Yes, nee, in Gijs. Mick. Yo. Hi. Hi. We are going to get Zuji. That's for Zuji, that's pasta. After a good dinner at the sushi place, uh, it's now time to uh, end the vlog, I think. I hope you learned some about us in the question section and I hope yes. you enjoyed uh, us sweating and uh, panting and doing a lot of moving stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please leave a like and a comment. Nee, ik ga het gevraagd. Goed, ze maken boven te bouwen.